For all of you struggling with arthritis out there, this video is definitely for you. Believe it or not, the best vitamin that exists and that is out there for your arthritis is not vitamin D, contrary to what you may have been told or what you may have heard in the past. But this vitamin is really kind of less known and it is exciting to me because I do think it's something that can provide you a lot of relief for your arthritis. But before I get into that vitamin and talk more about what that is, I wanna talk about a little bit about the different types of arthritis and what they are because sometimes it can be a little bit misleading. So if you break down the word of arthritis, what it is, the prefix arth or arthro literally means joint or joint space. And anything that has itis on the end of it just means inflammation. So arthritis means joint inflammation. Now there are a few different types of arthritis overall, but the most common type of arthritis that probably you clicked on because you wanna know more about this video is something called osteoarthritis. And this is essentially just wear and tear on our joints over time as we mature in life. So getting to the crux of the video, is there something that you can actually take on a daily basis for your arthritis or your aches and pains that aren't NSAIDs like ibuprofen or steroids, which don't have the best long-term side effects? Well, there actually is, and it's called NAD. And NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD is essentially a precursor molecule to the mitochondria, which are the powerhouse of our cells, and it acts essentially as a coenzyme for our overall metabolism. NAD is essentially a derivative of vitamin B3, also known as niacin. They're slightly different, but they are cousins, if you will. Essentially, NAD acts as a helper molecule that turns food or the breakdown products of food into energy, also known as ATP, that we can then readily use throughout the body. In fact, NAD has been found to be linked or involved either directly or indirectly in more than 400 different biochemical processes all throughout the body. So what happens when you're deficient in NAD? Well, first and foremost, you can get chronic inflammation. It can lead to a deficiency and create certain metabolic diseases. It can cause low collagen repair and deplete your overall levels of collagen, which are important for not only your skin and your hair, but also for your joints and connective tissue. It can cause some muscle fatigue, weakness and joint pain. It can actually slightly increase the level at which you age by not repairing DNA as efficiently. And it may in fact decrease your overall immune response. NAD is also a big proponent or essential in reducing overall levels of oxidative stress. So in order to get NAD into your diet, I recommend using it as a supplement, which I'll talk about in a second. But before we even get to the supplement, it's really important to take NAD in conjunction with enough protein, because if you're not getting enough protein intake into the body, NAD will not work as efficiently as it otherwise could or should. Now the sweet spot to get enough protein in our bodies in order to sustain and be metabolically healthy, and this obviously increases or scales up if you're wanting to gain additional muscle mass, but that sweet spot that you're looking for is about 0.7 grams per pound of body weight per day. So if you weigh 150 pounds, that's about getting 100 grams of protein every single day from various sources. And obviously, if you've watched my videos before, I'm a huge proponent and advocate of getting protein from animal-based sources, such as red meat, uh, chicken if you need to, eggs, etc. The other thing that you definitely don't want to do if you're taking this NAD as a supplement is you don't want to drink a lot of alcohol on it because it can cause some flushing and other kind of negative side effects if ingested with too much alcohol at one time. So the sweet spot of taking this NAD supplement is you want to take it in small frequent doses throughout the day and I would recommend starting with 100 milligrams 
anywhere from three to six times per day for consistent relief for your joint pain throughout the day. I actually would start with 100 milligrams three times a day. So 100 milligrams when you wake up at breakfast and then at lunch and then again at dinner and see how you do with that. And depending on where the joint pain is, being able to tolerate this supplement uh, with the given side effects as well, I would then increase or lower the dose accordingly. One thing that I think is absolutely essential to mention in this video, and that is if you're eating a healthy balanced diet already, you should be getting enough NAD into your system to where your body is readily utilizing this in the way that it's supposed to. Believe it or not, it's actually very difficult to get the right amount of macronutrients into our body and with all the fad diets that exist out there, it's not the easiest thing to know where to start and how to eat in the most optimally derived way to get the biggest bang for your buck, if you will. And so I did a whole video about this and you can check it out here, which is what is the most optimum way that we can eat as humans to not only for have you feel the best that you can, but for you to live and thrive as a human. So I definitely would recommend checking out this video right here.